This video demonstrates a new feature of the Lazy Dog software and firmware which allows the operator to save the current LO frequency to the microcontroller's internal flash memory so it's stored inside the Lazy Dog hardware. Uh, it becomes the new startup frequency the next time the hardware is powered off and powered on and uh, it can also be restored by the operator uh, at will. Now as the new power up start frequency it does not affect the frequency that HDSDR starts up at because HDSDR automatically remembers the last LO frequency when it was shut down and then that is what it starts up on. I'm launching HDSDR from the start menu and first we're going to see a dialog to select the DLL make sure you choose the one for Lazy Dog it uses the SI570 one but uh, that's not the one you should choose. Then uh, uh, the usual select device uh, dialog and the Lazy Dog control panel appears. I'm dragging it out of the way so it's available but doesn't get in the way and starting. And we're in the 20 meter, 20 meter phone band right now. We'll tune around a little bit. Nice strong signals. The yellow frequency is 14.282 megahertz plus a little bit. And I'm going to save that now in the flash memory. From the file menu. So now that yellow frequency is in the flash memory. And I'm going to change the yellow frequency up to a little over 15 megahertz to catch WWV. Now I'm going to edit it, edit this a little bit as I retune the antenna. There's WWV, nice and strong. Now I'll restore the original LO frequency of 14.282 and uh, retune the antenna. I'm going to edit a little bit here. So here we are back in the LO frequency of 14.282 megahertz just by restoring the LO frequency. And in a moment I'm going to shut down the uh, Lazy Dog hardware, power it down, and then power it back on. HDSDR will lose the USB connection. It will still show 14.282 as the uh, LO frequency, but uh, it will no longer be controlled by the sliders or vice versa. I mean, HDSDR won't. There, it's shut down. When I power it back up, it comes back on at 14.282 megahertz, even though it's not connected to HDSDR anymore, as I will demonstrate in a moment. Here, I'm going to change the LO setting in HDSDR. Didn't retune anything. And I could change the frequency sliders on the Lazy Dog uh, hardware, and uh, that would change the LO frequency, but it would not update HDSDR. So now I've uh, power cycled the Lazy Dog receiver and I'm restarting HDSDR so they, the two will be connected once again. There we are back at 14.282 megahertz. And right now I'm going to restore the LO frequency, which didn't change it because it was at the one that was saved in flash memory. At the tone, 16 hours, 53 minutes. But now I've uh, switched up to 15.015, and that was by using the sliders. Retune the antenna, and I'm going to set that, I'm going to save that as uh, the new LO frequency, then shift down to the CW band. Retune the antenna again. And there's a nice example of 20 meter CW on a Sunday afternoon without a contest going on. And I've just restored the LO frequency and this time it was 15.015 megahertz. A little retuning 
managed to do it a little bit faster this time, so I'm not editing it out. And there we go. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and see how to use the new feature now.